Hello, and welcome to the Eric Hamadeka Show, presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson track and field head coach Eric Hamadeka. And coach, uh, good to catch up with you for the first time this season. Um, you've had a couple meets so far, and it's been pretty exciting. Yeah, you know, we've been off for uh, quite some time. You know, our last meet was December 2nd or 3rd. We went on break, and we brought them back on December 31st. Had two good, great weeks of training. Uh, you know, typically we went to a big-time meet the first time of the year. Um, but this year we actually went to a lower key meet and I think it was really beneficial for us. We had a lot of great performances coming out of that first meet. Yeah, it seems like both, both meets you've been in, you've had a lot of great performances on both meets at F&M so far. Um, it seems like the thing that stands out to me early is you have so much more depth, particularly on the women's side and, it's, and in more events as well. Yeah, you know, it's been really great. And, you know, so we actually went to another meet this past weekend at LVC as well. And the depth has really shown because now we're able to spread some thing, our people out. You know, now we don't have to do every single event every single weekend. So, you know, it's just really, really nice to be able to see that on both the men's and women's side. Yeah, talk about, just take us through some of the top performers. I know like Kendall Belser, he's been a two-time conference uh, performer of the week already. Uh, just take us through some of the top performers have been on both sides. Yeah, you know, our sprint squad is very deep on both sides, men and women, especially in the men. Uh, you know, people were like, you know, you lost Devontae Williams, you know. Not that we replaced Devontae Williams, but, right. you know, we have people there who are able to run. Kendall Belzer, uh, sophomore transfer coming into the program, has done a really nice job for us. Derek Davis has done a really nice job, you know. Matt Riggins, Aaron Holiday, you know, they've put themselves in the top 50 of the country in those events. Um, in the jumps, Demian Wright, a freshman guy coming in, just outstanding, uh, broke yeah. school, two school records already yeah. that were pretty substantial records. Uh, the women's throwers are doing really great. You know, some new standouts that have been on the team for a while. Allie Bishop has just really uh, took control of the weight and put herself as one of the top throwers on the team. And then obviously Lauren continues with the weight throw and Jess Riga in the shot put. Yeah, obviously we're about about a month or so out from the conference championship. Um, obviously, that's what you're geared towards is towards conference championship and trying to do well there and trying to obviously place kids hopefully in the nationals. Um, at this point, are you happy with where your progress is so far? Yeah, you know, it's, it's really great. You know, to a certain degree, I'm, I'm shocked at where we're at at this point. You know, we try to compare the results from the past. And, you know, not only do we have, you know, a couple of resemblances, but like you said before, the depth is there. We have more people who are in the top mark of the conference and obviously on that top 50 list in the country. Yeah. And obviously that top 50 list, you know, like those kids know where they stand and know where they need to try to get to to hopefully, you know, follow in the footsteps of Devontae and qualify for nationals. Yeah, you know, that's the goal is, you know, who's going to take that, the new crown of the team. We have a lot of people on both the men's and women's side. Um, even Kimberly Hammond this past weekend at LVC, you know, she put herself in the top 20 in the country in the long jump. So I guess a lot of new names coming out there, a lot of people, you know, not just only taking one or two to nationals. You know, we hope to be taking a busload out to nationals uh, for indoor and outdoor. Yeah, and so this week, are you still at Bucknell? Yeah, we're going to Bucknell on Friday night. We're going to take some of our 200 runners to get a really good time at that track. Um, then we have Richie Case, who's another standout freshman for us, who's going to be doing the multi, as well as Rachel Panic going up on Friday night to compete in the multi contest as well. And then the majority of the team will come up on Saturday yeah. to take care of business. All right, well, Coach, we wish you and your team the best of luck this weekend, and we'll talk to you next week. Great, thank you. All right, for Eric Kamadeka, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Eric Kamadeka Show.